how to use a magnifier on the iPhone 16 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. Now to use a magnifier, we need to add the widget to the control center. So at the top, swipe down to open up the control center. Then tap on the add button. Next, we go down to the bottom and tap on add a control. Now scroll down to the capture section and tap on magnifier. This will allow you to add the magnifier widget to the control center. Now swipe up to close that. Then tap on the magnifier widget right here. And this will open up the magnifier app. Now in the magnifier app, you can go into settings. So before you start using the magnifier, let's perform some setup. So tap on settings. In settings, the default, um, the default features are activities, capture and detect. Now you can add in secondary controls so that you can access to other features such as filters. So here we can add it or remove. So by default they are not added so you need to add them as a secondary controls. So here, so this is the default. So what you want to do is just tap on the add button to add all of these features so that you can add, so that you can access them from your magnify app. And then tap on done. All right, so once you add it, it will be available down here for you to select. Now this first, um, this first uh, feature is the filter. So you can swipe across and select a different filter. All right, so that's the filter. Then tap on the filter to close it. And here we've got contrast, so you can change the contrast. And then we've got flashlight, you can turn on your flashlight if it's in a dark place. So you can turn on flashlight while you are using the magnifier. The next control, is, the next item is the brightness. So here we can change the exposure to brighter or darker. And then you can also lock on the focus. So here you move closer to the subject and then tap on the lock focus. And the focus is now locked. So you can see if I move in or out, it will change the focus. But if I stay in one spot, the focus does not change. Next is the multiple um, sh uh, shot. So you can choose a single shot or multiple shot. So here we've got single photo or multi, multi photo modern. And lastly, you can switch to the front camera or you can choose a close-up mode. So that's the close-up mode. You can move your camera close to the subject, take a picture, and then you can also use the zoom feature. So let's take a look here. If I move my camera close to the subject and then take a shot, so capture. From here, you can use the zoom features and you can zoom right in. You can also move the pictures around. So here I can zoom right in. Uh, you can zoom back out. You can also close this one, move it down so that you can have a better view of the picture or you can drag it up. All right, so after, once you have taken a photo, you can also make some changes by applying a different filter right here. We can close that. Here you can change the brightness. So you can zoom in to see all the details on the USB drive. And after that you can tap on share and you can then save the image to your photo library. So tap on save image and then tap on close. Lastly, there is one feature that I want to discuss about is the activities. Now this activities button allow you to save the current settings from your magnifier. So let's say if I apply some changes to a filter. So here I've got the blue and white. And if I have my flashlight turn on, my exposure changes. Then I tap on activities 
and then save as new activity and here I can give it a name so I call it Mac 2 and then tap on done all right so if I tap on activities I can choose magnify this will allow me to quickly switch to my previous safe profile settings and now if I want to quickly switch to my previous settings uh, Mac 2 if I tap on that you can see it will switch to my blue profile with the flashlight turn on and if I switch to a different activity it will turn off so this is quite handy if you have a particular settings that you use for a certain object or subject you can save it you can save the activity so the next time if you reuse your magnifier you can quickly go to that settings so we can pull down open up magnifier and then we can select a profile or a, a setting profiles that you would like to use and that's it thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos